from the simplest stuff, rock, sand, and clay, we've created vast cities that have changed the face of the planet. By manipulating metals, we've conquered land, sea, and air. But I think the material that's perhaps our greatest achievement is something entirely artificial, invented by us and created in the lab. Plastic. It's not just technologically marvellous stuff, it's fundamentally changed how we live. It's allowed us to be modern. My name is Mark Miodovnik and I'm fascinated by the stuff that makes our modern world. Whoa! Yeah! Wow! In this programme, I'm going to explore how we turned our backs on the raw materials of nature and began to design and create our own plastic. Better, cheaper and entirely man-made. We've created more new materials in the last hundred years than in the rest of history. And what's really exciting about that is it's just the beginning. We're on the verge of creating a new generation of materials, more ambitious than ever before. And that's because we're coming full circle and making new materials that are completely artificial, but which take their inspiration from the natural world. This is a biodegradable polymer, it's a plastic, and in the future most of us will have some of it implanted in our bodies. It's designed to help the human body rebuild itself, allowing us to heal faster and better. And when its job is done, the plastic dissolves and disappears. You're looking at the future, where material science meets medical science, and plastics are at the heart of that research. This shows how far we've come with plastic, this designer material that we created. So how did we get here? Well, this most artificial of substances began life in the Industrial Revolution, when man's progress seemed unstoppable. And we looked at nature's materials and thought, hmm, we can do better.